So, rep footy, you, you played uh, for New South Wales and that, that, that drop goal that you scored with, will always be remembered. <laughs> and, um, and you played for your country. Yeah. So, comparing the two, I ask a few of the other boys that had like Maison and stuff like that. What, what were the feelings like in comparison to each other, you know what I mean, of getting yeah. your Australian jersey? Especially, I, I feel like the older school kind of guys that Australian jersey maybe meant a tiny bit more yeah. than maybe... I don't, maybe, I don't know. I'm well, just saying. I got like, picked for Australia first. Oh, really? I got picked in after the 99 grand final. I was like a bolter. They used to say I was only oh, 23. Okay. I wasn't expected to make it. So okay. to make that my first time was huge because, yeah, as a kid, that was another dream. Hopefully one yep. day wear the green and gold. That was one dream I had was to just be singing the national anthem, yep. looking at my parents in the grandstand and that. that. What so, was that memory like mate, for you? Oh, pretty emotional. Yep. I uh, found out... I was in the side. We were on Mad Monday. <laughs> I hadn't slept. <laughs> and uh, we're at the Carlton. I'll never forget it. We're at the Carlton pub up at Cogra there. And all the reporters were there because they were talking about Anthony Mundine, uh, okay. Nathan Brown, someone else were going to make it. So we were just playing pool, hadn't slept. We were pretty, uh, we'd had a couple. So, <laughs> And then they've Mad called Monday. out my name. They said, you're in the Australian side. And it was just a shock. Really? But, yeah, huge shock. But the... It was an unreal shock, really. Yeah, we yeah, just yeah. lost the grand final, we're all shattered, but that made, that made me that happy. I uh, rang my parents, for, they live in Kaima, and let yep. them know, and they come up and picked me up, and I went home to my hometown, yep. Kaima, and partied on down there with them. Oh, really? Celebrate, with a few, two yeah, things to celebrate. Yeah, yeah. with yep. a few mates. So, uh, but yeah, to play uh, Australia was, yeah, made every kid's dream, but yep. Origin was the one you always wanted yeah, to play as yep. a kid growing up. Yep. Watching Origin. Definitely. Um, I remember with my old man, my brothers, always race name from school, so. Yep. I found the Origin footy probably a bit more tougher, more just because there's so much build up. Passion it's the same stuff. now. There's so yep. much build up, and yep. probably so much hate there. Kind yeah, of yeah. Thing. But Which is good. Mate, I playing think. Test was outstanding. I got to play with some unreal players like Joey Johns, Gordon Tallis. I think um, wasn't Australia a bit more dominant then too? Yeah, like you guys we, were like cons- well, consistently dominant. Yeah, back I, then. I played nine Tests and we won every Test. Like yep. there were some we won. I think we beat the Poms fifty four nil. We yeah, beat the Kiwis yeah. fifty something nil. So yep. we had a pretty dominant side. Like guys like Lockyer, Johns, yep. Fitler, yep. all these guys. So I was pretty lucky at that time to <laughs> Lockyer, Johns, and Fitler. Yeah, it's not a bad. And I played oh, right. centre one game, so I had. Gordon Tallis inside me and John, so wasn't yep. a, he had a bit of confidence when you look look inside <laughs> like that. What would be something would would the drop goal that you did score in um, in Origin? I'll we'll get get the clip up soon just to go step by step through it though. But would would that be your your best memory of like you know the most height and passioned and, and all that kind of stuff? Or is there other memories that you can't remember that are more personal to you? Yeah, there's other memories. Uh, that one's probably the biggest, but. Probably the biggest one was um, two. I, when I, I injured my knee pretty bad in 2000 in the Origin Series midway, yep. and I sat out the second half of that year. And 2001, I didn't play a game at all. I sat out the whole oh, year and a half. Eight, and you were out for 18 months. Yeah, yeah I, okay, they yeah, uh, told right. me I may never play again, so I was shattered. I was only 23. I thought my career might have been over. I had to have a heap of surgeries, and we looked overseas at different studies and that. So to come oh, back. Yeah. 2002, I ended up fighting me sort of way back. Played yep. 2002, played rep footy for New South Wales, Australia, and then got the Dragons Player of the Year. That was probably well, the most satisfying well. one I got because I, uh, well. I was dead set, thought my career was over. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty pretty down about it. So when I got the Dragons medal, I, got, I was pretty emotional. Yeah, yeah. Shed a heap of tears. But look, that was probably the most rewarding one, yeah, because as I said, my career was over. I was written off. I didn't know yep. whether I was going to come back. And I guess you got all the, the media speculation as well, saying you know yeah. he, he's probably done or whatever. Far yeah, out. and I was watching all these sort of young centres at the time progress, and it was eating. Yeah. I just, yeah. I suppose yeah. it made me more hungry, but it just yep. wanted to play. And I come back and played some of my best footy, and yep. yeah, got the Dragons medal. So that was uh, that was one of the big ones that a personal of, kind yeah. of achievement. Of that's yeah, okay. Oh, well, that is a fucking achievement. Um, 